Today is April 1st in Zone 7A, Rhode Island, and I wanted to share a few more little spaces that we tuck place the flowers in for the butterflies. And this one is a planter along the side of my patio, and this fills up every year with common milkweed, which when I planted it, maybe eight years ago, I didn't realize how aggressive it was and invasive too. It really belongs in fields. But thank goodness for this planter because it keeps it kind of contained. We've had some pop up in other places and it, it spreads underground rhizomes. So I don't really care for that kind of milkweed in a suburban lot. It's really good if you have a lot of land. So let's see what's over here. These are daffodils that haven't bloomed yet. They popped up here on their own a couple years ago. I never planted them. And of course they keep getting bigger each year. And over here, I just keep some morning glories and they wrap themselves around the legs of that little table from outside. Um, but this whole space used to be filled with morning glories and I actually used to string them up and they looked really pretty. But now we use it for milkweed. So over here are some old planters again that came with the house. They kind of like the shabby look and it's vintage and I like that. I can put some pictures of what this looks like. In the front there is Leatris, Blazing Star, and sometimes a Morning Glory or two will pop up. Last year on the left I did Marigolds for the fall. This year I'm going to try on the right, little the circle planter, to either try straw flowers that I'm winter sowing for the first time, or maybe some lavender for my daughter's garden since they don't need watering. Another area where milkweed pops up is right here near our door. It's another one of those concrete planters. And again, daffodils just showed up over there. But we have milkweed that comes in there, the common milkweed for the butterflies. And along that wall, the walkway, are orange daylilies and quite a few daffodils keep popping up in different areas too, which is kind of nice. I don't mind. And on that side, there's some more milkweed usually. And, um, in the little pot, I usually put coleus or something that can handle mostly shade. So those are some of the areas that we try to still spread some more milkweed for the butterflies and plants. Thanks for watching.